There wasn't much. It was everybody to themselves, really. And um, there were people that we met on the ship, and they would sort of stay together and talk. But on weekends, they were in the same boat as we were. The husbands would come, so they'd go their own way, because that's the only way you had a family life, you know. And each weekend, when they would go again, the women would say, oh, let's hope he has a job soon, you know, so we can get back together like a family. Because there's nothing worse than being split up. And the thing is, what I remember, I used to think, Dad said, we're going to Australia. It's, if you're honest, hard-working, and, you, and there's still freedom of speech, you know, it's a good life. And I kept thinking, where's the good life? <laughs> Which was true, and you know. But it's what you make out of it. So, with the two little ones, and then the other two were in the room with me. Mm. And that's how, how we did it also in the hostel. There were, and also, I decided I'm not going to stay in the hostel forever. And it was the days when, if you wanted to do nursing training, you had to live in. And I'll tell you what, that's how I learned English. I got myself a job, not as a nurse straight away. My father wanted me to go back to school. And these days I wish I had because my life would have been a lot different. And, you know, he was always... He, because everybody was academic in his family. And, oh, you know, you go back to school. No, I've left school in Germany. I'm not doing this. Dumbest thing you do as a teenager, honestly. And, uh, but I did go and got myself a job working in the dining room and uh, making beds at the Woodlands Girls Grammar School. And that's how I learned English. Once I thought I had enough and learned enough English, I thought, okay, now I'm going to go and find myself a job. As you know, do I need to get a profession? So I applied for nursing. Would say, well, mum and dad, we just would not do much. Mainly go for a walk down to Bahana, or you know, have the uh, opportunity to go with someone to Lobatha, mm -hmm. but. Clinelk, we used to go, like, if it was nice weather, especially in the, in the summer, we'd go down to Clinelk North to the beach. Uh, Mum was working, so then there would be other young girls in the hostel, which we used to meet, and there was a communal place. We used to, it was, they used to have dances or play table tennis, I play table tennis every night. And uh, basically there would be movies, the old black and white, real old movies, open air. It's, it was nice. And then we used to get together and just sit there and sing our German pop songs, you know, and all that. And that was all later on when we met some boys, which was un inevitable. They'd have the motorbikes and the weekend would be going, oh, let's go for a Sunday drive down to Victor Harbour. And we'd be down there, go across there and then around the island, come back. But apart from that, was not, you know, there was nothing there really. In Clinelk, first of all, it was not uh, as big. Secondly, it was more, you had more access to the outside. Like you could go shopping and I'll tell you what, some people, including my mum, would try to go to the chemist and get certain things and couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> and then, you know, there's some funny stories, but uh, basically you didn't, you had, you didn't need a car, you could walk somewhere, you could there were all these things, uh, you know, that you could do. Plus, somehow the food was a lot better. Although, one thing I must say, there were people that used to live in the hostel, 18 months, two years, three years, they made it their home. They were saving up a lot of money. On the end, 
this was in the 60s, I'm jumping a bit here, they made it a law, you're only allowed to be in the hostel for so long. But uh, when we were in there, a lot of them said, oh, that's it, I'll make a lot of money that way, because I think mum and dad, dad was earning 13 pounds, I remember that, and what, uh, one thing, and once you earned money, you had to pay money back, for the food and that that they provided, I don't know how much it was, but it had to be paid back, which makes sense, you can't live for nothing.